So we have some before and after pictures of wastewater treatment sites that were treated with biotifics. Okay, this was a really spectacular one. This was a food protein manufacturing facility with a bunch of wastewater lagoons. And there was a lot of things going on. They had, as you can see in this photo, this huge floating cap of protein and solids and all kinds of stuff that's just sitting on the surface. So a lot of the aerators weren't even able to work because they're just clogged with all this floating solids. So we came in and treated. Here's the uh, after photo, after a little while, you start to see this clearing on the surface of that floating solids. But the real story is underneath, the sludge got really digested quickly because it was very organic. And the nitrogen level dropped a lot too. So now they could apply more of the water to the fields, allowing the production to grow to what they wanted it to. And so that yeah, was really cool success. Next up, this was a municipal lagoon. They had a significant issue, as you can see, with just floating vegetation. They're so, they're basically their sludge was so high that there is plant growth and trees and all kinds of things growing on the lagoon. And it's aerated and there's water underneath, but it's still so bad that the natural digestion is just not keeping up with what's going on. So they have high temperatures, but the loading and the accumulation over the years was just too much. So we went in there and treated it. And as you can see in the after photo here that it was basically all submerged and homogenized again. More aeration, less accumulation of solids from influent and just reduction of those decades of accumulation in that lagoon. All right, so next up we got a collection system one. So a municipal lift station that we treated for fat soils and grease. And this is a pretty straightforward one where we met with the facility, diagnosed where the problem area was, we went to you know, check it out, survey it. Um, it was pretty mild for fat soils and grease, but it was something that small municipality, they just didn't want to have to deal with it if they didn't have to. They'd rather use bioremediation to prevent its uh, accumulation and removal. So we started treatment and you can see the three photos here, the progression over time of just digesting that fat soils and grease. So we, it was kind of dirty to begin with and we just kept chewing it away and just eventually uh, completely resolved that issue for them. So, it's pretty mild, not extreme, but just a nice, easy example of what we can do. Oh, this is one of the few I was not present at, but this was a really fun one. Our salesman and one of the distributors, they went to this um, farmer who had a manure pond. And the big issue here was being able to pump the manure out, but also there was a lot of flies. So as you can see in this picture here, there was a lot of floating manure up at the surface of the water. And it was so thick and so strong that his dog actually could run across back and forth on it. That's how bad it was. And there's still water underneath, keep in mind. So we treated it and after a period of time, it got reduced, as you can see here, and this is in the middle. So now the dog is swimming through this stuff, believe it or not. And then after a little more time, it was completely liquefied and all the sludge or manure was submerged to getting digested. So now the manure is more homogenized, easier to pump and field apply, but also what this farmer really wanted was all that surface habitat for the flies to reproduce was no longer there. All right, ready? Here's a good one. So, oh yeah. So this this one this has been a longtime customer now for many, many years because of this issue. They forever had this scum layer in their collection pit, uh, food manufacturing facility. Pretty small flow, but just a nuisance to them because they had to clean it out and it had odors. So we went in and set up automated liquid dosing with our Biotifix products. And, you know, over just not a lot of time, remediated that issue completely, digested the solids, and they've been a loyal customer ever since for our distribution partner who brought them this solution. All right, let's next one up. So this was a pretty funny one, and you'll see the photo here. Is another food manufacturer uh, in the meat industry, meat packing, and they had another large collection pit with a tremendous amount of fat soils and grease. And you can see here, our sales rep, they didn't have a good way to measure at the time, so they put a 26 pound boat anchor on top of the fat cap just to see could it resist it, and sure enough it did. So it was pretty thick. Um, I want to say it was over a foot thick when they actually measured it. So we set up treatment, uh, pretty, pretty good flow coming through there and a lot of nutrients, so the biology really just took off and biotifics along with the native bacteria really digested that fat soils and grease over time pretty quick and yeah, see the result in the after photo, it's pretty cool.